Hi, my name is Gaurav. I'm an audio application specialist here at Pro Tools, and I specialize in music creation for Pro Tools, uh, as well as Pro Tools itself, and new features. I'm here at the 2020 NAMM show. Okay, cool. So what we'll be showing today is um, the new update of folders. There's two types of folders that you get, a routing folder and a basic folder, and I'll go into that in a second. As well as that, we'll be showing the S1, which is our new um, member of the family of the, the S6 and the S4. Um, and we'll be showing that as well as the Avid Control app. Now, the Avid Control app works in conjunction with the S1, which works in conjunction with, the, with, the, with, with Pro Tools and everything that's going on over there and the mixer and stuff like that. So I'll be starting off with uh, showing my project over here, which is this is what it will look like in a normal uh, Pro Tools session. And if you have loads of tracks, it looks kind of, I wouldn't say messy, but it looks very unorganized and there's not really a way that you can organize it as well. So now obviously having the, the folder tracks come in now, in the newest update, you could do Shift F and you put them all together and then everything goes into folders. And so with this, you've got two options of folders. One is a routing folder and one is a basic folder. So what I do is I've got some audio files here that I can put into a folder for you. So what you do is you select the audio you have, you right click them, you go to move and then new folder. And now over here you have two options. One is a basic folder and one is a routing folder. Now what a routing folder does is it essentially allows uh, like an aux to be created in the background that links all your audio into an aux. So you can add plugins, you can do such things such as reverbs and compressors and delays. Um, and then you have a basic folder which basically is just for organizational purposes. So in this instance, I'll go for the routing folder so I can show you what you could do with that. So a routing folder, you can call it a vox. Once that's created, all of my audio there goes into that vox folder. Now if I close that down, now that looks so neat. Whereas before, that's how your project will look. And when you're doing a lot of kind of audio and MIDI and a lot of stuff, you kind of get lost because there's so much going on. And now having this, you can make it much smaller. Now going into something that I like, um, I like to doing for music creation is I like arranging my my tracks. And obviously, there's so many modes that um, you could do, and and features that you could do with like folders and stuff like that. So something that I like doing is arranging. So if I open up this, you have these blocks, and these are basically everything that is in your in your uh, in that folder. So if I select something and I copy that thing, and I paste it, let's say over here you can copy whatever's in that folder itself. So if I open that folder back up, everything that I copy has now been copied over to there. And it goes back into that folder. Um, and that's something that I like doing for arranging, especially with MIDI and stuff like that. When you're trying to make, um, when you're trying to make music and you want to add like, you want to move the drums or you want to move the pianos and the keys, the synths, you can select a certain part. Let's say you can call it section A. Uh, you can even clip group them or you can do it like that and then you can move them over, which is a great way to uh, arrange your music. So another thing that you could do um, which obviously I was saying on the routing was you can add a plugin. So today I'll add a, uh, let's say an EQ and that now will apply everything to what's in this folder. So if I open the folder back up, you've got everything here, which obviously individually will have plugins on there, but then on the main folder itself, I've added an EQ. Now, if you come over here to the S1 and the dock, you can see over here, you've got the tracks which are all the folders. Um, so if I wanted to show you without the folders, here in track mode, you've got everything la labeled out exactly how Pro Tools is. All the colors are there, everything is there, but um, there's, more, there's more than what you need because obviously you want everything in folders. So now when you press Shift F, everything gets compiled into separate kind of folders. So all these here are folders, so you can select folders. Uh, which is great. So when you go over here and I've added my EQ going back to that, go back to channel, over here, anything that you do on, on, on the EQ itself works with the control app, right? Now even better, when you go over here to the control app itself, you can do everything from the S1. And doing it from the S1 feels better um, and it just feels a bit more kind of like for myself, like an analog and it maps really, really well through the Yukon. Um, and you and, and you control. So that's the way that I work, and um, that's the latest updates. Thank you.